Hello. This video will show you how to open Hames in standalone mode to include finding a patient record, creating a ticket, filling out the metadata, and using a multifunction device to load artifacts into Hames. The term standalone is used to indicate that you are not accessing Hames information from within Alta, which is commonly referred to as the Hames embedded mode. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to scan an artifact into Hames. This process is the same for either single page or bulk scanning, but before you attempt it, make sure that your Hames enabled scanner has been set up appropriately. To do this, contact your IMD department. The address for the Hames standalone site for LERMC is hames lermcmedosdmil Please note that if you are outside of the European region, you will have a slightly different URL. When the login window appears, click on the Accept button to clear the legal notice window. When the login window appears, do not sign in using your CAC card, but by using your assigned Hames standalone user ID and password. If you don't know these, or if they have not been updated, please contact IMD to have them reset. When you have entered your user ID and password, click the Login button. You are now in the Hames standalone website. To begin the scanning process, click on Bulk Scanning at the top of the screen. For the purposes of this video, we will be showing the process for doing a bulk scan, but searching for a patient or scanning in a single document follows the same general processes. Then select Network from the drop down menu. This tells Hames that you are using a networked printer. You will need to sign in again. Use the same Hames standalone user ID and password that you used to sign into the Hames site, with the exception that you must put Hames and a backward slash in front of your user ID as shown here. When the next screen comes up showing your tickets, click on the Create Ticket tab in the upper right of the screen. When the Metadata Entry section appears, click on the Patient field to call up the Patient Search function. When the Patient Search window appears, you can search for the patient using any of the criteria that you would use if searching in Alta. Enter the information on the patient, and then click on the Search button. When the list of patients appears, you may have to enlarge the name column to view them. To do this, simply pull it to the right. Then click on the patient's name. The metadata ticket should then populate with today's date and the patient's name as the default. Then put in the author's name, which is normally the ordering physician. But check with your supervisor in case another protocol is in effect. Protocol will be defined by PAD, but at the very least, in order for Hames to accept the artifact, you will need to enter data into four fields. The patient name, author name, date, and document type and title. Put in the date the document was generated. Since the MHS form number is not required, choose the document type from the drop-down menu. The document title, which is a brief description of the document content. The practice setting. The specialty, the procedure or service, the clinic, the installation, whether you fill out the rest of the information is dependent on your specific protocols and SOPs but the information requested is self-explanatory. At this point, you need to save and print the ticket by clicking on the tab in the upper right of the screen. The ticket is a barcoded piece of paper that you will then put with the hard copy documents that you want to scan. This sheet will not become part of the scanned record, but it tells the scanner where to send the documents and what metadata you have entered to it. When the print ticket window appears, scroll down so that you can verify the information and access the print icon.
The ticket displays in a PDF format, so you need to roll over the image to call up the viewing and print options, just like a normal PDF. When the printer options window appears, check to make sure that the correct printer is selected and click on the print button. The correct printer should be a multifunction device or MFD that has been designated as a Hames printer and scanner. To verify that the ticket is printed, you can close the print ticket window. Following slides demonstrate how to load and scan the printed metadata ticket and the documents using an approved multifunction device or MFD for short. This is the type of scanner that is currently being used for Hames scanning in the European region. It should be set up by IMD to operate as is shown in this demonstration. If for any reason you see different screens or have problems scanning documents, immediately contact IMD to avoid any HIPAA violations that could occur from misrouted patient information. On the left is the EKG that we want to scan into the patient's record via Hames. On the right is the ticket that was just printed and contains the metadata that was entered. To scan the documents, put the barcoded sheet on top of the document or documents to be scanned into Hames. It is important that it feeds into the scanner to be read first, since it will tell the software what to do with the following pages. This demonstration only uses a single sheet, and in this case, we are feeding it in face down. But this process would be the same for a stack of documents that all need to be entered in on the same patient. There is another process in place if the majority of your Hames document entry involves large numbers of single separate documents. For more information on that process, Please refer to your SOPs. Once the documents are loaded correctly, press the Auto Store icon on the touch screen on the front of the scanner. When the next window appears, choose the Bulk Scan option. It's not necessary to enter a batch name, but you may do so on this screen. If not, simply press the Scan button in the lower right corner. The screen will indicate that the documents are being scanned. This may continue on for a moment after the actual documents have finished. Please do not interrupt the process. From this screen, you may choose to continue scanning documents. If you are done, press the Finish button. You should receive a confirmation that your files were sent. If not, then there was a problem with the printer itself. If it confirms that the scans were sent, it is important to validate that the system received them, which we will cover in a moment. If you are done, Press the Home icon to reset the screen. It's important to validate that the document is not only readable, but that the metadata labeled is correct as well. This part of the process is not required, but is highly recommended prior to importing the artifacts into Hames. Back in the Hames standalone site, choose the Validation Queue tab. Then choose the All Batches tab to view what has been entered into Hames. Since your account may be set up differently, or you may be using a group account, the All Batches tab is recommended over the My Batches option. The list of batches will default to showing the most recent at the top. Find the batch that matches and click on the plus sign on the far left of the row. All the records that you entered during your scan should appear. To view the specific document, click on the preview icon on the far left of the row. When the scan of the document appears, you can view it by scrolling through it. When you are done viewing the document, close the window to continue. It is now time to import the document. Remember that the Hames standalone site is not part of Alta, it is simply a portal. Therefore, you still need to import the record into Alta after you have verified that the scan is good. Validate the batch by clicking the Validate Batch cell under the View column on the far left of the row. Once the Validate Batch screen appears, you have the opportunity to inspect the artifact prior to importing it. You have several options including Standard Zooming Functions to view any portion of the artifact, as well as verification of the metadata. Once you are satisfied that the document and the metadata associated with it are correct, you can import it into the patient's record. To do this, 
first click on the Import tab above the metadata. Then, make sure to click on the Close Batch tab on the left side of the screen. If you do not do both of these actions, the document will not import to the patient's record. Once the Validation Queue screen reappears, you should see that the document is no longer in the list to be validated. This indicates that it has been imported to Alta. If you are done entering and validating documents, you can log out of the Hame standalone site. Before we finish up with this video, it is important to note that you have the ability to set your preferences for the Hame standalone site via My Settings. You can do this from any screen on the site simply by clicking on the My Settings button in the upper right corner of the screen. As you will note, this is also where you will find the online help function. As you can see, there are many options that you can create defaults for. Once you have changed the settings to match your preferences, simply hit the Save button and they will become part of your Haim standalone profile. This concludes the overview of how to use the Haim standalone site to enter data into Haims. If you feel that you need more help with this or any other clinical system, please contact your clinical systems trainer for more information. Thank you.